Good morning and welcome back to Camp Claw. Yes, we are in Maine. It feels so damn good to be back filming for you guys. Took a bit of a hiatus in Texas, but now that we're up north, I am ready. Yesterday I was on Instagram and I posted a call to action asking all of you beautiful people out there what we should film while we're up in Maine. You guys like the pike content. You guys seem to like the Google Maps videos and the Creekside fishing missions, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. Here's the video idea that really stood out to me. First and foremost, thank you for the idea. Uh, I'm not sure what to think of this, but I have to attempt it. I don't know if it's ever been filmed on YouTube where someone takes two rods, two reels, and tries to catch fish on both, or just tries to catch fish in general, seeing as you know both hands are kind of occupied and one can't reel. Anyway, I'm pretty stoked to attempt this. I don't normally like doing challenge videos, but this one really stuck out to me, and I'm excited to do it. There's a lake just down yonder that's got some smallies, some largemouth, it's got grass, it's got rocks, it's got docks, it's got all the good stuff. So that's where we're gonna film this little challenge video. Gonna take out the old white low, which by the way, she's doing better. She's not as sick as she was prior to us leaving Maine, but I'm pretty froth, I'm pretty excited. Hope you guys are too. Like I said, welcome back to Maine. It's good to see you guys. Let's get after it, let's catch some fish. Stick with us, stay tuned, and let's go crank them. What up, wieners? We're on the lake right now. Look at this water clarity. This has gotta be one of my favorite lakes I've fished so far in Maine. I've only fished it once with Perrick. It was a good time, caught a lot of smallmouth. The cool thing about this lake is it's divided by a road. Half of the lake is primarily largemouth, and the other half is primarily smallmouth. Crystal, and I mean crystal clear water. Some of the cleanest damn water your boy can find. It's like some blue ass water times 10. Yo, come check out how blue this water is. The goal, using two bait casters at once, trying to catch two fish at once. It's gonna be a tough one, but we'll try our best. And then aside from that, we're also just gonna have fun and fish. I'm gonna only do this for a little bit before I go insane. Let's just get after I'm so glad to be up here right now and hope you guys are stoked. So in order for this challenge to work, I'm gonna have to use a lefty bait caster. Usually this would be a problem, but when I was a kid, I taught myself how to use both righty and lefty, but I just don't normally use left hand, as you guys probably noticed. This is more my comfortable position. But I picked this up at Dixie the other day, figured if we're gonna make this challenge work, we gotta, we gotta get a lefty reel. I do have one at, at Texas, but I, I hardly ever use it. So instead of reeling with like the knob, usually when you reel a casting reel, you know, you're grabbing right here, I'm gonna have to use like my index finger right here. So I'm gonna throw it like a jig on this, and then maybe a shake yet or, or something on the bottom. Like I said, the goal is to hook up like one on each rod at the same time. That would be absolutely insane. But if we can at least just land a fish with two rods in my hand, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be pretty cool. Again, I don't know if this has been done before. It has then, wow. I mean, I don't know how people do it, but let's give it a shot. I'm gonna tie two jigs or two bottom baits on each setup and we're gonna get after it, try to stay out of this wind. I am uh, nervous, but also very pumped to make this happen. Here we are, first spot. It's a nice six foot flat. To be honest, I don't know what these fish are doing, but we will figure it out today, mark my words. Honestly, as difficult as this challenge seems, it's very effective because it's like, I've got two anglers in the boat fishing at once. We've got a shaky head, bandito bug on the Guggen rod, and then we've got a gridiron jig with a crack and craw on the lefty setup. So let's just see if this works. I'm gonna, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Key word for today is I don't know. So six foot flat. Nice rock, should be some smallmouth. If the smallmouth don't bite, then we're gonna try to get some largemouth because those should be a little bit more feisty. Also too, I feel like I'm gonna feel bite on the right rod and I'm gonna set the left rod just out of instinct. This is like ultimate multitasking. Usually I'm pretty dunce with this kind of stuff. I'm an absolute dork when it comes to doing two things at once, but fishing is something at least I think I'm good at. Maybe some largemouth working. This is fun. Oh, I have one on the left. No, I lost him. I just had him on the left. 100% a good bite too. Oh, he's back, he's back, he's back. Got him, got him. <laughs> Here we go. This is so difficult. I'm having to reel with just one hand. Just gotta keep tension on this guy. Oh, what is it? Is it a large mouth? <laughs> this is so hilarious. Come here. Oh, he's decent, he's not small. Okay, what do I do here? What do I do here? <laughs> okay, he's under the boat. Okay, okay, you got this. You got this. Oh, it's a smolly. Is it a smolly? Yeah, it's a nice smolly. Okay, come here. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Okay. Is there an easier way to do this? Here. Come here. There you go. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't come off. Don't come off. Yes, we did it. <laughs> 
Okay, let me reel on this right one. <laughs> Dude, that was very hard. My fingers actually kind of hurt from trying to reel that in with the star drag. First fish of the day on the bandito bug with the shake head. Nice start, a little small, probably about a pound right under a dock. If they're shallow today, we should be able to get some doubles because, you know, they get aggressive in the shallows. Just popped right out. <laughs> Dual bait caster challenge, looking pretty good so far. Just a wee little guy, let's see if we can get a big one. Imagine a four pounder in this scenario. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a garage sale here in a little bit. All right, let's get this guy back. Hey, Bubba. <laughs> we put it there, that was so much fun. I've always wanted to do this. This is, this is exciting. I'm looking forward to catching some more fish this way. It's effective, you know? If you guys aren't fishing two casting reels at once, what are you doing? Still have him? No way. No way. Oh no, I do. I do. I still have him. I still have him. He's still on. Jesus. Oh, he spit it. A little small knot. Damn it. This left one's hard to reel in for me. I don't know why. Right under that dock. Fish ate. Shoot, that was that was close. Oh yeah. See that? We were hammering over here. Laughing. He's still on there. Got him. No, he came off again. We'll oh, have another one on the left. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sounds it. He's. Oh my god. He just ate it again. He's there. He's always. Oh, oh, he's going down on. God no. He's still there. I just watched him chase it all the way in. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Oh, it's a good one, dude. It's a good one. He's got it. No. <laughs> oh, he's still on it. He's still on it. This is. Insane. He's still on it. Oh my god. He just ate it again. He just ate it again. No. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many of them! Dude, there's so many of them! There's like three of them! This is insanity. He's got it again. I'm pretty sure he's got it again. Nope. What the f just happened? There was like three fish like schooling and trying to grab my jig. Oh my gosh, that was in dude, that I wish there was an underwater GoPro going like permanently down the boat because four smallmouth just taking turns of grabbing my <laughs> my jig. That was so intense. Oh, I just got a bird's nest too. Son of a gun. I had a fish in the other one too. He's still on. He's still on. <laughs> That's a little bit better one. Okay. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Let's see if we can get two at once here. Let's see if we can get two at once here. It's definitely the biggest one of the day. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Okay, okay, here we go. Just let him do his thing. He's gonna swim around for a bit. He's cool, he's cool. Just gonna see if we can double up here. This could be mayhem. Just don't spit that hook, darling. We just spit something up. This is so intense. Fishing crystal clear water for smallmouth and using two rods doing it. Okay. All right, well, I don't want to stress this guy out too much. We're just going to get him back in the water. Tried to catch two at once there, but I just bird's nest on the other setup. So that's not looking so promising. There we have it. Fish number three of the challenge. Again, on the left rod, the shaky head seems to be doing some work. I'm going to send him back. See you later, Bubba. Actually, that's a pretty good one. Oh my god, instantly. Instantly on the left one. I have a fish on both right now. There we go. Oh my god, I almost doubled. I almost freaking doubled up. I think I lost both of them. Way to go, champ. Nope, this one's still on. This one's still on. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. I just lost. Fish on the righty. Shoot! This is hard. Look at this one. He's all fired up. Okay. The, the shaky head is definitely getting the smaller fish, which is an okay thing, but we are getting bites. Come here, Bubba. We're fighting hard. Little dude's got spunk. He's got spunk. Okay. That's number four, I think, something like that. Shake it, just doing the dirty today. A little three inch cracking crawl, getting done. You're so little though. Bye bye. 
the back. So we've got three fish on this rod, on the left hand rod, and uh, we've yet to strike a fish on the righty rod. We came really close, had like a really nice big one follow us up. Actually a whole school of freaking fish followed me to the boat with this jig, but wasn't able to execute there. We we'll, got a little choky McGee on him. It's all right, I've been known to choke. I'm actually gonna try something a little bit different. Gonna try the rattling net on a shake head. Kind of a goofy rig, but has the same purpose and should get the job done. Just throwing, kind of the technique that I'm doing right now is I'm using the shaky head for the shallow bite and with the jig, because it's heavier, I'm throwing in that deeper water, hopefully for a bigger, bigger smallmouth. I have been getting some really nice bites on the right, but it's just hard to set hook. That's like the most difficult part. There's two hard parts about this. Casting and reeling is not the issue. It's like once I get the bite, setting the hook, and then after I actually hook the fish, which you know rarely seems to happen, um, reeling it in. That's the tough part. So I'm definitely far from a dual bait caster expert right now, but we do have a few fish. I'm just looking for like a nice two or three pound fatty. That's kind of the goal. That and also to hook up on doubles. That would just be like absolutely insane. Yeah, there we go. There's that edge. It's about 14 feet right there. And then I'm also casting about seven of those smaller fish live. Like right now I'm just getting demolished by a little guy. Oh, he just came off. See you later. There we go. There we go. Little guy. Little guy. Okay. Let's see if we get doubles. Doubles? Doubles. Oh yeah. No way. Doubles. Doubles. We got doubles. The one on the right I think is pretty good. Okay. How are we gonna do this? Oh my gosh. Oh no. He just spit the hook. Son of a bitch. I just had doubles. That was intense. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get back in there and let that small just kind of swim freely for a bit. Let him do his thing. <laughs> That one on the right wasn't terrible, he's about a pound. Come on. Doubles, doubles. That would have been so hectic. All right, I'm gonna deal with this guy. Jeez, I came so close, guys. Came so close. This one's a little bit bigger. Step in the right direction. On the rattling net, shaky it style. You say little dude. All right, send him back. And she's gone. Man, we came so close. Ugh. I really want to make this happen for you guys. I think it'd be such a crazy moment if we caught two at once. Okay, we got, oh, oh, I'm on. I'm on. I literally just, oh, it's a better one. I just dropped. Dude, we were so close. If I wouldn't release that fish, I'd have gotten two. <laughs> okay, things are starting to really pick up right now. We have another fish. I just, I mean, I just put that last one back on the left rod. And on the right rod, we had our first kill, finally. Right, well, was, the right rod was looking a little dusty there. It wasn't doing much for us. There we have it. Another smallmouth, about 12 inches, 13 inches. We'll take it though. <laughs> See, Bubba. Choo. This is fun. Very intense, very hard, but very, very fun. <laughs> Finally got one on the jig. So pumped. So I don't know if I went over this, but yeah, jig on the right rod, and then a little finesse rattle the net on the left. The reason why I'm catching so many on the left and not the right is because it's just, it is just such a smallmouth technique. Jig is good. Jig crushes smallmouth, but. It's definitely kind of a bigger smallmouth presentation. Plus, they have a hard time getting it down. And there's Alex in the back working a 5 6 rod, just smoking the little smallmouth in the drop shot. I don't think I have one on the left. Definitely do. There we go. A little guy. Jesus. Okay, let's see if we can double. This is insane. This is insane. So many little smallmouth. I'm gonna deal with this dude. Get over here. Thank you. Thank you for playing. You're just a little too small though. Just a little too small. Don't even know what number this is. Back you go. Get down there. There we go, another one. Oh, this one's a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's a much better fish. Now we are talking. Now we are talking, that's some size. That right there is some size. I'm gonna reel this in. Deal with this guy. He's spitting up a bunch of bait too, that's sick. They're definitely feeding. Okay. Come here, come here. Set this down. In you go. All right. Okay, not a giant still, but step in the right direction. A bigger fish. There you have it, shaky head just dominating the jig right now. Nice little fat one. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, but guilties. And it's probably not. Oh, it's a good one. That's a good fish. Oh God, he's getting my other line. Okay. Doubles, anyone? Doubles? 
No, come on. Eat the damn jig. All right, I'm gonna deal with this guy. I don't want to freak for too long. Okay, okay. Yeah, he got some garf. It's like the super finesse stuff is just getting all the bites, but they're not big bites, so that's exactly why I'm still throwing this jig around. Just a little dude. See you later. Kill incoming. Instant kill. We're both getting bit right now. Double hook sets. No, I'm on a rock. Son of a bitch. God came so close. Double hook set and I messed it up. Threw it all away. Threw it all away. Oh wow. Guess what? We're double snagged. How do you just go zero to hero like that? Well, we've come to the conclusion that you can catch fish with basically two rods and two reels. It's not the most effective way i've lost a lot of fish today that could have just be me but it seems like the bigger fish really evaded us but we're not done yet i'm actually gonna put one of these rods down we're gonna see if we can fish for a few more hours see if we can get a big bodacious bass on camera for you guys seeing as most of the ones that we caught were like about that big so we're gonna run a few spots fish some rock see if we can catch like a two or three pounder and then call her a freaking day this was fun though definitely one of the harder challenges i've attempted on this channel though <laughs> that's gonna be a headache all right, we're back to actually fishing. It feels good just to hold one single rod and realize how much of a disadvantage you are. Your boy couldn't capitalize. We're gonna see if we can catch them on drop shot. I saw some good fish here um, coming down this bank about 30 minutes ago, so maybe we can pick them up on the drop shot. Really don't know what these fish 100% are doing. The little ones are definitely up shallow, but the big ones, they're elusive, as they should be. That's what makes them fun. Come on. At least a little two-pounder. Last cast, unless I get throttled. There we go, that's something good. That's something good. Please be a nice smallie. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Like I said, last cast, and unless I get throttled. So here we are with a nice smallie. Don't know how big. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Definitely the biggest one of the day. Ha! Huh. Yes, I can use my hand to reel now. This feels amazing. Oh, he's spitting up a ton of stuff. Ooh, ooh, gotta love it. You just, you just gotta love it. Oh, full airborne, full airborne. <laughs> it's a nice fish, not a bad one. There we go. Come here, come here. They just don't quit in here, do they? Oh my God, they fight so hard in here. Quality small line. Just doing all kinds of tricks. Tangling up my line, doing the small mouth things. Come here, buddy. Finally, a quality fish. Not a giant by any means, but it's just comparatively speaking, the ones we have been catching. That is a very nice small, probably about two pounds on drop shot with a Sakoshi bug, 10,000 fish. Love it, freaking love it. Nice. Yes, let's go. That was a good one. It was a very nice fish. That's what we needed right now. I need that in my life. I literally just said, if I get throttled on this next cast, then I'm staying. If not, I'm leaving. Sure enough, that fish came out of freaking thin air. Really nice fish. It's one of the reasons why I moved up here to Maine for the summer is because of those fish right there, among like brook trout and muskie and pike and all other types of species. But God, I love smalls. I grew up fishing for them and it just, it's fun to go to pretty much any lake around here and have the opportunity to catch them. The big ones live here too. That was not a prime example of one, but it's a good start. The bait I'm using too is really cool bait. It's a uh, Sakoshi bug, which is made by 10,000 fish. You guys can find this on shopcarls.com. I'll leave a link down below. But it is a very unorthodox, but super sneaky drop shot bait. Normally you would uh, rig these Ned style, but I like throwing a drop shot because the plastic that they use for these baits is buoyant. So the weight pulls it down, while the plastic floats in front of the fish's face. It's a little counterintuitive, but it makes sense. And uh, it just wrecks fish. I like using this when they're not eating worms. And I tried the worm and they weren't liking it. So I switched to this and there we have it. First quality one of the day. Just love it. Big dog. Big dog. Not that big, but a good one. Drop right in his head and see if he eats. There's one right down there. I'm gonna see if I can sight fish this guy in like 18 feet of water. Does he see it? He doesn't want it. Well, I'll be damned. It was not a big dog. I don't know why I freaked out. Literally about the size of the last one. 
but it's just a huge leap ahead of what we were catching prior. Those are some squeakies we were pulling in. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a wicked bite. That was a wicked miss. Yeah, dunce. There we go. Come on. There we go. That's the one. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. That's the one. I knew there was big fish here. Oh, do it again. I f***ing love smallmouth. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, Takahiro Mori. I knew it. <laughs> oh, come here. You're a fat one. I like how fat you are. I just knew there was a big one over here. I've seen big fish in this spot before. Yes. I love small ice. It's going to go again. I think it might be the biggest one of the day. I love it, man. I love it, Maine. I meant to say I love it, man. Welcome to Maine. <laughs> oh, you're fatty. Dude, he went straight in the air. Like, before I could even say anything, he was up in the freaking stratosphere. Oh, not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Check her out. About a two-pound smallmouth. That's what we love. That's what we love, the brown bass. Oh, my goodness. Gorgeous fish. We're going to put them in the box real quick, see if we can get another one. But that is a nice fish. I wish we caught these guys in the, the dual rod challenge, but... At least we're catching them now. That's all that really matters. Look how healthy they are. They are so freaking healthy. It's like a female. Good stuff. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, there's gotta be another one out there. I'll admit, I thought that was like at least a three pounder. It's a good fish though. Oh my god, that was so sick! Oh, these ones are aerial. These are circus smallmouth. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just have a little bit of rock out there that I like to relate to. Oh, the Sakoshi bug is just doing damage on the drop shot currently. You know it's a good time when you're on your knees just trying to fight the fish. Just won't give up. Won't give up. That's a big one. Oh, that's a little bit better than the last one. About the same size, maybe. I don't know. Fish nonetheless. Stop that. It's getting hectic, folks. I'm not sure how much of this you can see. Probably some underwater footage, I'm guessing. I got you. Look at that smallie. <laughs> Had to bring the big camera out for this one. Just like, definitely lands on my top five favorite list of fish to catch, period. Saltwater, freshwater. They're so much fun, and it's just a blessing to have them up here in Maine. I know they're invasive, technically, but who cares? They're so freaking badass. Probably about a two pounder, fought like a five pound largemouth. It's so intense. We're gonna head back to the boat ramp, get this guy back in the water, and uh, we're gonna close her off. What a freaking day, put her there, dude. So many fish, let's go. Wieners, we did it. We had a challenge video, caught some smallmouth, and just had another freaking amazing day up here in Maine. So beautiful, so wonderful. Uh, it's good to be back, and I hope you guys are excited for some more videos. Alex and I have got a long list of stuff I'm gonna film, mostly your ideas, so be on the lookout for some interesting content coming down the pipeline. We're wrapping her up. Got the old white slow back on the trailer. We're gonna head back to Camp Claw, and we'll catch you guys on another episode. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.